Hey, what's up you guys? My name is Tyler Ruggie and for today's video, if you couldn't tell by the title, we are upgrading my Bearded Dragons enclosure. I am joined here today with Malachi, my Bearded Dragon. Uh, for anyone who is new here, Malachi was rehomed to me about a year ago. Formerly, I was keeping him in an Exoterra that was about the dimensions of a 40 gallon breeder. So I was keeping him in there for a while and you know, for a while, I've always considered the minimum for bearded dragons to be 40 gallons because that's just what is widely considered the minimum for bearded dragons in America. So that's just what I've always thought. But after talking to people and reading forums and stuff like that, a lot of people actually prefer to keep their bearded dragons in bigger enclosures. A lot of the times, 70 gallons. Some people even go as far as to keep their bearded dragons in enclosures that are like 120 gallons. So I wanted to upgrade Malachi. I think he deserved more than 40 gallons. So I went out and I got him a 70 gallon tank. It's Marty made. It's basically a guy who's local to me that makes enclosures. So if you look it up online, I'm not really sure, but he might ship them. But I would recommend checking locally on Facebook and at local reptile shops and expos. Because there are a lot of people locally, different places, who build enclosures and you can get one custom made by a lot of different people. I really like it. I like the sliding glass doors in the front. And like I said, it's 70 gallons, so it's a lot bigger for Malachi. I did consider going even bigger to like 120 gallons, but I thought we would just do 70 gallons and see how Malachi likes it. Because Malachi isn't a very big bearded dragon. And also he isn't super active, so I felt like if I gave him too much space, he wouldn't even utilize it. But I did want to give him an upgrade, so we're doing 70 gallons. And yeah, I mean, that's basically my spiel. We're just gonna get straight into it, decorating it and whatnot. So yeah. Malachi is scratching my neck. Where are you going? Like, I'm just wondering, where are you trying to go? All right, well. All right. <laughs> Anyways, for substrate for bearded dragons, it's widely debated what you should use for substrate. A lot of people are totally against using loose substrate, so it just kind of depends what you think. In my opinion, uh, loose substrate can be okay if it's done well. If you do it right, then loose substrate can be safe for bearded dragons, but a lot of people just throw a bunch of sand in their enclosure and that's what they use for their substrate. But in my opinion, sand does not make a good substrate for bearded dragons because that is not what they live on in the wild. And I always think that you should try to replicate what they live on in the wild. I'm not going to be using loose substrate for this enclosure because I just don't want to take a risk. And I have debated doing a bioactive enclosure, which is still something that I might consider doing in the future. However, for now, I'm just going to be going with ceramic tiles. Tiles are really good because obviously it's a hard surface and it's really easy to clean. Bearded dragons can't swallow any of it and it also looks really nice. So I'm going to be using tile for my enclosure, but what you want to use is totally up to you. Some people like to use paper towels. Some people will use like those mats that they sell. They're like repta carpet, but I'm gonna be using tile. So I like to have a layer of paper towel underneath the tile, just so if the bearded dragon poops and stuff, if anything seeps underneath the tile, I just like there to be a layer of paper towel to absorb anything that goes underneath the tiles. And I'm also going to be adding some wood and different things to kind of give him enrichment, give Malachi some things to climb on, to climb up and bask on. And right now I'm just working with stuff that I already have on hand. So in the future, I will most likely be adding a couple things to this enclosure as time goes on. And in the future, I do plan on doing an updated like enclosure tour of all my reptile enclosures so you guys can kind of see how I've upgraded them and updated them because I do add stuff as time goes on. But for now, this is just what I'm working with. And I almost forgot to mention for the tiles, I got the tiles at Lowe's and I got them custom cut. 
because they cut tiles for you to fit in the enclosure and it was super cheap. I don't think I spent more than $20 on the tiles plus getting them cut. And without further ado, let's just get straight into putting together his new enclosure. Are you excited, Malachi? Yeah! Okay, so this is what I have so far. I have this little area, which I don't know if I like this or not, but I'm just gonna leave it like this for now. And then I have this little area on the cool side for him to hang out. I don't know, should I move this like over here so we can climb up there? Hmm. I don't know what to do. Maybe? All right, so it's been two minutes. I've already moved it around again, but I don't know, not a huge difference. I am so indecisive, I still hate it, but whatever, it's fine, we're, we're doing great. All right guys, so that's basically it for Malachi's enclosure. Like I said, this is mostly just using stuff I already have. Plus I do have some fake plants somewhere that I wanna maybe put in here to see how it looks. But I don't know where they are because I'm still unpacking things and I don't know where I put them. So might do that. And also next time I'm at the expo, I have to try to get some wood and stuff to add onto this. But this is it for now. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. That's basically it. So if you liked it, make sure to give it a big thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel. I post videos every week. Also, don't forget to check out my social media and my vlog channel. Those will be linked down in the description below. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye, Malachi. Bye. Bye.